subscribe gadget filter channel and tap the bell icon for never miss any update hey what's up guys this is shadow chabud back once again from gadget filter channel and today i am reviewing latest franco kernel for oneplus x so let's get started So guys, first of all, if you want to install this kernel, you should be in Lineage OS ROM or any other ROM which is based on Lineage OS. Download this file, I linked it in the description below and flash it with TWRP recovery. Now in this kernel, we have got a lots of things. Let's check it out in Franco Kernel Manager and Update our app. Here first you will get Battery Life Labs. Here you will find some tips and direct option to apply quickly. So first, here is underclock the CPU. If you want to increase your battery life, then set CPU as low as possible, but it can decrease your app performance. Then there is underclock GPU. If you reduce the GPU clock, then it will provide some great power consumption reduction. After that, you will find some power saving profile. Here you can set power saving mode as a percentage of battery remaining as well as you will get three profiles. Power saving, balance and performance mode. I set it as balance mode but you can choose power saving for battery life and performance for maximum app performance. Then there is lower max byte test. Here you will get special parameters like Wi-Fi status, battery saver, display resolution, display orientation, maximum display brightness and kernel parameters for setting maximum and minimum CPU and GPU frequency. Here you can also set different profiles for different application, it's really helpful. Then you will get disable auto sync and install nap time. By installing nap time when your device screen is off, all the sensors will be disabled and when your device screen is on, everything will go back to normal. And it's amazing. Then you will get kernel settings. I didn't play with this so I recommend if you don't know what this is, don't change anything. So with this kernel updater app, you will also get a file manager and system monitor for seeing which CPU using how much megahertz. So guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.